So here's Kate Kreider and Bob Huppy. We're going to be making pizza here, right? So what's the first thing we have to do, Kate? Okay, we have to get a cup and a half of hot water. And do we have to worry about how hot it is? No. No, it's just... As hot as the tap is. As hot as the tap is, right. And do we have to worry if it's exactly a cup and a half? No, we do not. We do not have to worry about that, do we? And then what do we do next? Okay, then we get... Is it a teaspoon? Uh, no, it's at least two. At least, at least two teaspoons worth of the yeast. Of the yeast. And we pop that in. Yeah, we pop that in. And then we do a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so that's how far we are now. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay, okay, this is now part two of the, uh, of the Harvey Mudd pizza making <laughs> first lesson. And this is Kate Kreider and Bob Huppy. Yeah. Before we woke up to this step, what did we do first? You remember what we did okay, first? Okay, we've already put in the water. The what? How was it hot? A cup and a half of tap hot water. That's right, okay, and then what? Then we put in uh, two teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of one salt. One teaspoon of salt, and now we're on to the next oh, step. Oh, no, you put salt in there. Oh, no, no, that's right, okay. No, okay, we're good. <laughs> no, You're right, I'm sorry, I apologize. Three teaspoons of uh, olive oil. Four. Four. No, three. Three. You're right. Three. Five. Man, I've done this so much. I'm getting confused. Um, so three, three teaspoons of olive oil and then four uh, teaspoons of honey. And which do you put in first? Olive oil and then the honey. Why is that? Because otherwise the honey sticks a bit more. Absolutely correct. Yes. Okay, so now we're <laughs> all ready. And tell me what the yeast is looking like now. Uh, a little it's, foamy? It's of? a little foamy. Good. Um, all right, so it's ready. Yeah. That's right. It's kind of foamy. It's ready. So what do we need next? I wish I knew. You wish you knew. <laughs> well, what do you think needs to go in here next? Uh, the flour. The flour, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So you can turn that off now. It's okay. How's it going here? Uh, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Okay, so how's the dough feeling? T touch the dough. It's yeah. good. It's it's sticky, but uh, it's it's getting less. Can sticky. you pick it up? It's not sticking to your hands very much, right? Uh, it's all right. Okay, good. <laughs> then I think it's ready to go. So there's two ways you can do the next step. Okay. Okay. You need to know. You need to knead the dough, and. I have some of these I'm going to send with you, actually, okay. that are, that are uh, pastry cloths. They're really good, especially for rolling out pastry. Like, so one way you can do it is have a pastry cloth out here like this. You just toss this over in here, and then you start to knead it. Push it down, and you roll it over, and you push it down, and you roll it over, like that. Okay. okay. So, you can do that, but you don't have a pastry cloth. You can just use... Yes. So you take a little bit of flour over here and you just throw it down on there. Here, close that thing before my wife sees you. Here we go. So then you just throw that dough down on here. Okay. And as long as you have a little bit of flour, it's not going to stick. Perfect. And then you go ahead and knead it. You pull that up and push it down. And knead it for about five minutes. Okay. There you go. And if it gets a little too wet, add a little bit more uh, flour to it. So that's good. We'll go on. That's a take. Well, hi, Kate. How are you doing there? Hi, I'm how, doing well. Are you doing well? How far have you gotten along in the pizza process now? Where are you right now? Uh, we're pretty far right now. We're about yeah, to hit a waiting um, period. What we've done right. since so, last uh, we showed you was uh, we kneaded the dough for five minutes. Uh -huh. And then we uh, took the bowls that we originally mixed the dough in and we washed the dough out. Uh -huh. And we uh, put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom and spread it around. Yeah. And we put the dough ball in there and flipped it over so that it would have oil on both sides. Then we covered it with a towel and now we're going to let it sit 45 minutes. You know, I am so impressed with how well you've you've been able to articulate this video. Can you tell me what college you go to? Oh my gosh, I, I, I would have to say it's uh, Harvey Mudd College. Sir. It says the most amazing college. What what? what? Well, can you show your back of your t-shirt so we can see I, I the name of it? I might be able to. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Harvey Mudd. The most, and the front says what again? The most amazing college you've never heard of. Okay, you've never heard of it, yes. But now we will because you're making pizza. And, and clearly this video is going to go viral. It's going to, yeah, you'll absolutely, it will absolutely go viral, and there will be so many more applications for Harvey Mudd that they will know what to do. It will. They'll say, we get to make pizza. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. You need an apron from Harvey Mudd. From Harvey Mudd, yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. A newly... Appropriately <laughs> one part. Oh, oh, you look so much better now. Oh, thank you. That's a double before. Thank you so much. We'll be back in 45 minutes. Let's see how you're doing. 45 minutes. Kate, we're back. It's 45 minutes later. Actually, it's a little... What you been doing down there in the basement? Uh, I'm hooking the GameCube and N64. Yeah, GameCube and N64. Okay, so now we're back. So we've been having some entertainment. Now we're back to making pizza. Now, 
I forget, where did we stop the last time? What were we doing before we went we down there? We stopped because we were letting the dough rise. Okay, so why don't you open that up and see what the dough looks like? So the dough looks like it's risen about twice the size it was originally. Perfect, okay. So now do you know what you need next? I know we need to punch it down. I know, so go ahead and punch it down. Good. Now pull it out. Pull it out? And take it out of the bowl. Put it on the floured surface and knead it again. And then you'll do the same thing to the other one. You're doing right. You're 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 kneading the dough. Is that right? Yes. And, and and it's important. How does it feel now? It's really soft. Really soft. Okay. Yeah. So that's a good sign. And so you're going to knead it for a few minutes, and then we'll let it rise one more time. Yeah. Okay. Eight. How, how, what are we up to right now? Can you tell us what we're doing? Well, right now we are heating the pizza stones in the oven, oh. and we are also cutting up vegetables uh, to go on the pizza. And so we have purple onion, red bell pepper, tomato, uh, mushrooms, and then I'm uh, chopping up garlic. And, and what's the important cooking lesson or knife skill lesson that you've learned now, the, chopping up the garlic? The important, oh, for garlic in particular, that you can pivot the knife and you shouldn't be shy about mashing it up good. That's right. Now, how about for the rest of the vegetables? What's the important cutting lesson you've learned for the rest of those vegetables? To keep your, your fingers tucked in so you don't chop them. Now, who was it that never really paid any attention to this lesson? I, I don't know. Who didn't? Ben? Yes, Ben. He <laughs> never paid attention to this lesson oh. ever. Would, would that mean but, that I'm winning? That, that would mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that would mean that you're winning. Now, okay. now, I forget, what, I kind of forget, what, what college is the most amazing college? What college is oh, that? Again, we should yeah, right, reiterate. What, can you turn around so we can see I the name of it on the I back there? What, what is that college? It's Harvey Mudd. Harvey Mudd. Okay, where is that college? In Claremont, California. Okay, so when this, this video goes viral, then what's going to happen? Hopefully no one will see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, how, how hot's that oven over there? Uh, well, it's supposed to be preheating to 550. It's at 292. Oh, boy, we're in trouble. Okay, we're going to have to wait a while. Okay, then again now. Now you're going to punch it down, right? Yes. Okay, so punch it down, and you pull it out. Get it all out of there, and maybe knead it just for a few seconds. Look at those techniques. That is just awesome. She's a natural. She's a natural. You should see her cut vegetables, too. I'm telling you, it is just outstanding. That's too mean. Okay, so... There you go. Now you need to divide that dough up. There should be a dough divider somewhere. Um, do you see where that is, that little plastic dough divider? Are we talking about this? Yeah, that is three parts. You can probably make three pizzas. So just make three sections there. Oh, make it in wedges. Wedges? Thirds, like pies. Oh, you too. Wait, I am cutting it in thirds. Okay, good. I was just scoring it. Oh, okay, sorry. Ever the teacher. That's perfect. Okay, good. Great. Now we're going to stop right there. Good. Now kind of make those into now make those into rounds. Okay. And flatten them out. Oh, okay. So they're like round, flat-looking pizzas. Should I just be doing one at a time? I'll do all three of them, so then we can make them nice and then start making them flat. Okay. Flatten them down. And then I'll show you some techniques, and then Mike can do the rest here, okay? Hey, where, where are we in the process now? Uh, right now, we are uh, spinning the dough to get it out to the size we want the pizza. Okay, how do you do that? Uh, by putting your hands underneath it. And yes, the there you go, there you go. Good, great, one more time. Okay. Perfect, working on now. Uh, right now, I'm putting the toppings on the pizza. Okay. So are you using ragu, pizza sauce there, or are you using something else? No, I'm using something else. I'm using something that Bob Hubby came up with and hid in this jar of Adam's peanut butter. That's right. I, re, I, re, I repurposed my Adam's peanut butter jar. Yes. Like all good recyclers would. So now you're going to put on what next? The cheese or the toppings? Cheese first. Cheese first. Why would that be? So that the toppings cook better. Yeah, that's right. Exactly right. So the to and so the cheese doesn't burn. Well, hi there, Kate. So, Kate, where, where are we right now in the process of the pizza right, making? Right now, we have topped the pizza, and the pizza needs to go into the oven. And what's it sitting on there? What is that thing? Oh, it's sitting on the... I, you're now making for the, yeah, the peel. The peel, yeah. yes, the peel. the peel. And what did you have to put on that peel? Uh, there's a little bit of flour to make sure that this it doesn't quite stick to the... 
Right, it's not just any kind of flower though, it's a special kind of flower. It is. Yes, it's sim it's I put it back in the It's sim no, you've done me. It's semolina flower. Semolina. semolina flower. Say that in Italian and you get two extra points on your on your final. Okay. Now, now walk over to that five hundred and fifty degree oven, open it up and we'll see if you can put it in there. Okay, so Kate, what are you gonna do now? You've got this thing in your hand that what's that called again? The peel. The peel. What are you gonna do with that peel? Okay, put it under there, put it in there, get it out. There you go, now bring it over, nice job. Bring it over here and put it, there we go. Okay, can you show us that pizza now that you made? Wow, looking good, okay. That's an awesome looking pizza there.